what up YouTube, I'm back again. Uh, here I am doing my NES collection. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a lot. First, I'm gonna go through my games, then I'm gonna go through my boxes and accessories. Uh, I've organized them by date. Don't really, don't ask me why I did that. Uh, I just felt like it. First off, is my it's my black box games because they came out first, of course. Most of them are five screw, meaning they were the first production run made by Nintendo. So uh, let's get started. Here is Jaramite. I don't have the Rob with it, so I can't really um, judge you on that. Uh, here is Kung Fu. Uh, it's a very fun game. I got the mail with it. Golf. I'm not really a big golf fan, but uh, the game's pretty fun. Super common. Uh, I got Mock Rider, which is sort of like a cross between Rad Racer and Spy Hunter. It's pretty fun. There's even a, a level editor, kind of like an Excite Bike. Here is Hogan's Alley, uh, my favorite Zapper game, and I have a manga with it. Uh, okay. Mario and Duck Hunt. Don't really need an introduction for those. Uh, classic games. Ten Yard Fight. Here is um, Pro Wrestling. Uh, I don't really know all the moves that um, that you use in this game, so I can't really enjoy it all that well. But uh, it seems pretty fun. Uh, ten, balloon Fight, and which is um, uh, one of my favorite black box games. It's uh, super fun. Uh, if you see it, pick it up. Um, very fun game. Soccer, not the best soccer game on the NES, but uh, still pretty fun. Excite Bike, my only non five screw black box game that I have on the NES. Uh, classic, of course. I want to find the five screw version though. Le oh, sorry. Uh, Mario Duck Hunt, kind of beat up, but um, I have it, of course. Everybody has to have that game. Combo Kart. Uh, Metroid, I beat the game. Uh, I beat the whole thing except for the final part, which I use the game to get past. Uh, I'm sorry, but that part was just way too hard. I can't beat Mother Brain and the last level without the game genie. But everything else I beat it uh, fair and square. Uh, excellent game. Very fun. Zelda. The gold cart, of course, has to be the gold cart. Uh, I beat it. I have not gotten past the second quest, but um, I beat the first quest, which is, uh, of course, a classic, excellent game. Love it. Mike Tyson's Punch Out, a uh, classic, excellent game. Uh, so far, I have actually gotten past Bald Bull, which um, I'm surprised that I got past him, but um, I did. Uh, so it's um, that's kind of cool. Uh, hopefully, I can beat the game later. But um, excellent game. Uh, here is Commando, which is like um, it's a top-down shooter, kind of like a shoot 'em up, uh, kind of like um, what Ikari Warriors. Uh, it's okay, I guess. It's got a few bugs in it, though. Uh, speaking of which, is Kari Warriors, which is, um, uh, it, it would be decent, but it has way too many bugs, and it's way too slow. It took me, like, an hour to beat the first level, and I just got sick of it. So, um, yeah, there's that game. Here is Rad Racer. Um, very fun game. Uh, yeah, it got some pretty cool music. RC Pro him sort of like an isometric uh, racer. It's pretty fun. 3D World Runner, which actually is sort of in like fake 3D, kind of like in Rad Racer, but um, it's pretty fun. I'd recommend it if you find it for a good price. Castlevania, all-time mini classic. Oops, uh, excellent game. I got to the final level, but I couldn't get to Dracula. Unfortunately, but um, I gotta get there someday. Goonies 2, I beat the whole game. Uh, very um, underrated fun game, even though it has a few problems in it. But uh, it's still very fun. Top Gun, of course. Um, I've seen the AVGN video of it. Not really all that good, but um, nah, I just got it. Because it was like two bucks or something. Here's Robble Ribble, I mean Double Dribble. Uh, <laughs> It's a fun game, but one problem, it does not have a Houston team on it, which is uh, kind of a bummer, but oh well. Um, they should have had a Houston team on it, but um, oh well. 
it's still pretty fun. And all, all it has is um, New York, LA, and Chicago, only three teams. But uh, oh well, it's still fun. And Boston, sorry. Here is um, Rush and Attack, or Rush and Attack, it's like a play on words. You know, it was at the time of the Cold War, but uh, it's a fun game, sort of. You know, you go around stabbing people. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Here is Trojan, you're just a guy with a sword and a shield in a post apocalyptic world. Uh, yeah, it's okay, I guess. Really tough, though. Athletic World, the common version of stadium events. I don't really, I don't have the power pad, so I can't tell you anything about that. Ranking, same thing as pro wrestling. I don't know the moves in this game, so I can't really enjoy it all that well. Rygar, which is, um, uh, it doesn't really tell you where to go, so I can't really, haven't really gotten that far in it, but I can tell you that the music is really good in this game, though. Really, um, seems like a fun game, though. Cried Kid, uh, not the worst LJ game out there, or the worst NES game, but, um, yeah, it's not, not that bad, but it's really, the last level is just brutal. Uh, Jaws, it's, um, this game, you can see here, somebody actually paid 12 bucks for it. <clears throat> I cannot imagine paying 12 bucks for this garbage. Not that good at all. Gotcha the Sport, it's, um, Zapper game. It's okay. I uh, can't really screw up in... A uh, Zapper game, right? Not even all Jane could do that, right? Uh, Mario 2. Classic, of course. Uh, I actually beat it one time. Uh, and so glad, so glad that I did. Really tough. Took me a long time to do, to do so. It's all to the adventure of Link. I have not beaten it yet, but I've, uh, I've gotten pretty far in it, though. Hopefully I can beat it one day, though. Oh, and uh, here is... Ice hockey, which is um, yeah, it's pretty pretty fun. I got the manual with it right here. Uh, world class track meet. I don't have the pad for it again, so I can't tell you about that. Contra. Oh my gosh, I finally found Contra. This is the last, uh, the latest game that I got from my NES. Uh, I've been searching for it for so long. I finally got it on eBay for 13 bucks. Even though, um, downside is that it has two holes through it. You see there? And right there. And somebody actually goes through the, through the, um, the circuit board, but uh, it still works. And, and super glad that I finally got it. All I need is, um, Super C and Kid Icarus, and I'll have all the, um, all the, um, Killer NES game. And here is Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Uh, uh, it's okay, I guess. And not as good as the first one, of course, or the third one, but, um, haven't really got that far into it, but, um, it's not that bad. Life Force, brutal shooter. I haven't gotten that far in it at all, even with the 30 life code. But it's still pretty fun. Jackal, I beat this game with a Game Genie. Only way to beat this game. Huh. It's way too hard to. Uh, Blaze of Steel. Um, it's uh, probably the best hockey game on the NES. I got a manual with it. Right here. And uh, here is Gunsmoke. Uh, very fun shooter for, from Capcom. It's a vertical, vertical scro scrolling shooter. And I got the manual with it. Double Dragon. Uh, fun beat em up, but very tough. I have gotten to the second to last boss, but I couldn't beat it and I lost all my lives. You get way too few lives in this game. But it's still very fun. I gotta beat it someday. Uh, Blaster Master. Uh, of course, Sunsoft has some excellent music, and this game is no exception. And. Ugh, sorry. Um. It's, um. I got to the third level boss before losing all my continues, my lives, and but it's still pretty fun. Okay, here is Iron Sword Wizards and Warriors 2. It's fun, uh, but uh, I need a walkthrough to get anyone into the game. In this game, um, 
<coughs> Here is Paperboy. It's uh, pretty fun. Arcade Classic. And here is Metal Gear. Uh, I'm fairly hard. I can't really get that far in it at all. Skater Die. Yeah. Adventure Island. Um, way too hard. Night Rider. Probably the only reason I got this game is because it has Houston as a level, one of the levels. It's kind of cool, but other than that, the game is not really all that good. Major League Baseball. Uh, yeah, not a big baseball fan, or a football fan for that matter. But um, yeah, it was cheap. But I still go for the Astros photo. And here is Zevius, which is a fun shoot, um, shoot 'em up. Um, very underrated. And um, got her for like um, a dollar. Ghostbusters, not that good, but also not that um, not that terrible. But um, yeah. Put way too less effort. Into it. They did not put enough effort at all into this game. They should just um, uh, waited to um, come out with a quality Ghostbusters game on the NES. And here is Bionic Commando, an excellent Capcom game. I don't think it has any relation to the original Commando, this one. But um, still I beat the game and it's really fun. Recommended. And Ninja Gaiden, I can't get past the Legendary 6-2 in this game. But um, still got pretty far in it. The rest of the game really is not that hard, but 6-2 is just like, I can't get past that. But still very fun, hopefully one day I'll get past it though. Turtles 1. Which is, um, way too many people hate on this game. I I don't think it's that bad at all. I think it's, um, rather decent. Got the, um, manual of it. Tetris is really cool. It has, um, a little tear on here, but it's still very fun, of course. like the, um, music in this game. Uh, Top Gun 2, the second mission. Uh, again, not that good. And neither is Bayou Billy. Way too tough. Unfair and stuff. And some service. Um, not that good either. Cost me like a dollar though. Double Dragon. Uh, Double Dragon 2, I mean. Uh, very fun. Uh, probably on par with the first one. Or maybe even better. But um, I got the mail with it too. Right here. Batman, very fun movie license game. Of course, excellent music. Got the manual with it. Professor's Quest, not that good actually. But um, yeah. If they fix some of the stuff in here, like um, the fact they only have two hit points that you start at the beginning of the game if you lose, that's really um, that's like unfair. Got the manual with it. If they change that, then it might have been slightly decent, but maybe not, who knows. Monster Party, it's uh, it's okay, I guess. Not that bad. Fat Sanity, I can't really find where to go in this game, but um, I heard it's pretty good, so I don't know, I'll give it a better shot some other time. Rescue the Embassy Mission. I uh, heard some good things about it, so I picked it up. It's super cheap, and uh, I'll have to uh, give it a good go some someday. Back to the Future, one of my favorite movies, and uh, the game is um, not the worst old Jane game, but um, yeah, not all that good either. Roger Rabbit, uh, I don't think I'll ever get far in the game because every time you uh, switch a game on, all the items um, uh, go into a different place. DuckTales, fun game, classic by Capcom. Mario 3. I know it's cliche, but it's my favorite NES game. Dr. Mario, uh, great puzzle game. Star Tropics, a uh, way tough, but um, a fun RPG, sort of-ish. Like, sort of like Zelda. And um, Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. Uh, who knows, it's, it's like, it might be on par, it's not even better than the first Castlevania. So there's Castlevania 3. 